weight. That's a good heat swim from the Australian Susan O'Neill. Third past of the Commonwealth last year with 61.57. So Susan O'Neill winning the opening heat. Marion Medine there came in fifth. Line up then for heat two. Maxine Locke of Wales in lane two. In lane three, Caroline Foote, the silver medalist in Edinburgh, going for England. The great Lisa Curry Kenny in lane four, uh, a freestyle silver medal already in the 100 metres, triple gold medalist eight years ago. And in lane seven, Michelle Tomlin for Guernsey. British interest in this heat of the ladies 100 fly. Maxine Locke from Wales in two. Caroline Foot from England in three. Michelle Tomlin from Guernsey at the top there in lane seven. For the favourite, Lisa Curry Kenny from Australia in lane four. Second in the 100 freestyle individual event and a gold medal in the 4x100 freestyle relay in a new Commonwealth record. The red hot favourite for this event, she's got a best time, 61 and a half. Lisa Curry Kenny leaning at 50. Lisa seems to attack every race so well, she just goes straight for it, doesn't mess about, tries to go straight into the lead. Caroline Foot going with her, which is a great sign at the moment. Be good to see Caroline if she can hold on towards the end. But Lisa Curry Kenny, very high kick there. You can see a kick coming out almost a foot above the water, which is quite abnormal for butterfly sprint swimmer. Inside the final 15, it's Curry Kenny from Caroline Foot, of course, won the silver in this event four years ago in that English 1 2 3. But Lisa Curry Kenny, 61.53, superb heat swim. Caroline Foot was second. In third place was Anne Finsick of New Zealand. So that's how they finished in uh, Heat 2, Lisa Curry Kenny taking uh, the victory there. We're going to go live to the pool because we're in the final stages of the three-metre springboard diving event. Remember Robert Morgan leading for Wales and we'll join Hamilton Bland. This is the leader now, Steve, Craig Rogerson from Australia. And that's why he's leading. That back one and a half somersault with two and a half twists performed solidly and it has to be said that Dave Bedard and Bob Morgan have really given this Australian diver the lead he's just dived consistently Bedard and Morgan have dropped dives 58.8 not a great dive but good enough to keep him in the lead on the left there Steve Foley who won the silver medal in 1982 when England's Chris Snowd won gold this is Dave Bedard now, he was in second place after the seventh round. Then he slipped to sixth, he's now back in second. Well, that reverse one and a half somersault with three and a half twists could have been better. 3.3 the tariff, it's the second most difficult dive we'll see in this competition. Bedard normally the most consistent of divers and coming unstuck and half, on that three, one and there you go half, says it all three and a half, four and a threes half, and three and a half for Bedard he can three, hardly nine, believe it 39.6 doesn't want to do with himself Antonio, this is Tony Alley lying in ninth position the youngest diver in the competition Remember the South End Club. And that wasn't a bad three and a half somersault with Pike. The tariff is 3.1. And a bad nine thrown dive. Only scored 47.8. That score, 56.73, will consolidate that position for Tony Alley. This is Mike Murphy now, was, in, was started in seventh position, moved up to fifth, now lying in third position. He's had two dives in the 60s, the last two dives in the 60s. Murphy, 16 years of age from Brisbane. The Australian national champion and competing in the one and three metre springboard events 
at these Commonwealth Games and the 10 metre platform event. This an inward two and a half somersault with tuck. He's been extremely consistent. And remains so. Lovely position on entry. Bit of a split of the knee. He'll be marked down for that. But those are good marks. 57.51. Next to go will be New Zealand champion Tony Young, who's having a dreadful time. In 13th position, only scored 19 points in his last dive. Tony Young, didn't complete it. Forward, a worried a man. Tuck, There's a forward three and a half somersault with tuck. 2.8. A difficult dive in front of this big crowd here at the Henderson Pool. Not good again. Certainly didn't get uh, out of that final somersault. Forward three and a half. A difficult one. And you'll see that he didn't complete the final somersault and doesn't extend his arms at all, almost entering head first. Always short. And the bad run continues. 26.88. Next to go, young Peter Scott from Scotland, who hit the board yesterday. I'm sorry, Peter Smith from Scotland, who hit the board yesterday and a reverse two and a half with tuck. Hence the cap he's wearing. Did the same dive a couple of rounds ago from this board, the three metre, and did it well. The cap just uh, protecting the three stitches he had put in his head immediately after that accident. He's back to form. Lives in Troon. 19 years of age. Bitter back, one and a half, with two and a half twists. <laughs> Got a tie for 2.8. Again, not quite vertical on entry. He's having a, a bit of trouble with those twists as well. Six and a half, six, five, six. But 49.56, he's dived well. Five and a half, 49.56. Larry Flewelling. Next to go, Larry Flewelling was third after six dives. Now slipped back to six. He had an injury in the warm-up, hit his feet on the board, badly damaged his heel. Twenty-four years of age from Edmonton. Good dive. 3.3. That is a difficult dive. The reverse one and a half somersault with three and a half twists. And he does these twists well. The highest score is knocked off, the lowest knocked off. They're added together, multiplied by the tariff. They're divided by five and multiplied by three. Complicated piece of mathematics. Believe you me, the total is 73.26. And that's the best dive we've seen in the competition, including Craig Rogerson's good run. Bob Morgan from Wales led the competition after six dives and after seven, then slipped to third, but with a poor ninth round dive, slipped to fifth. Better. 3.3 the tariff. So, it's a big dive that, it's a big tariff. A reverse one and a half somersaults with three and a half twists. We've just seen Flewelling score 72 with that dive. 
and Morgan's look every bit as good to me. And almost to the judges, 67.32. Better dive from Bob Morgan. That'll help him a lot. That'll certainly move him up. One dive to come remember after this. And one missed dive from any of these lead divers changes the whole complexion of this competition. Jason Statham, who's not having a good time, he's moved from 8th, slipped down to 11th. That's where he is now. Member of the South End Club, his coach, is the English coach here, Kim White. Stayed in with his inward three and a half, two and a half somersault with Pike. And it's short again. Really gone to pieces in this final, Jason. Well short. Five. Fours and fives, that's all I'm afraid Five. for that. Five. Four and a half. Four. Four and a half. Lost the field, 43.2. Mark, Mark Rourke started in 10th position. He's clawed himself up to 4th. Very much a contender for one of these medals. A back 2.5 somersault with Pike, 3.0. 21 years of age from Toronto. judges think about that. Seven, seven and a half. Seven. 3.0. 63.9. That won't do him any harm at all. Steve Forrest, Final diver of this penultimate round, Steve Forrest, Scottish national champion. Nineteen years of age from Edinburgh. Forward, one and a half somersaults with two twists, 2.5, his easiest dive. Member of the Edinburgh Diving Club. The low on the left there is coach. Was a bit happier with that 46.5. So, with one dive left, Craig Rogerson still leads, and Bob Morgan has moved from fifth to second. So, super improvement from him. Mark Rourke has moved up into third position. Larry Flewelling from Canada is in fourth. And still very close indeed for the silver and bronze medals. But that is the man on the right that leads the competition, is pushing Bob Morgan away. He's the man on the left. Rogerson Lee, 525 points. 15 points ahead of the Welshman, Bob Morgan. Rourke from Canada in third. Dave Bedard slipped right back to seventh place. He was second. Jeff Arben from England in eighth. Tony Alley from England in ninth. Peter Smith from Scotland in tenth. And Jason Statham for England in eleventh. Steve Forrest in twelfth position. One dive left then. And with divers scoring between 60 and 70 points on this final round, the gold, silver and bronze medals by no means yet decided. First diver, final round, Graham Banks, Australia, lying in sixth position. Reverse one and a half somersault, two and a half twists, 2.9. Good dive. Valbedo, coach, she liked it, didn't she? And so she should. That was a good dive. Super entry. Hey, hey. 20 years of age from Sydney. There you go. That says it, doesn't it? 67.